Okay, Jai Sri Krishna. And uh, first we start with three Om Chants. So three Om Chants first. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Sahana Vavatu Sahana Vunatu Sahana Yam Kareva Vahe Tejasvina Vati Tamastu Mavit Vishavahe Om Shanti 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 Punar Darshanaya Punar Harshanaya Punar Matra Devya Kripa Varshanaya Okay, and the Shraddha Mantra Shraddha Prate Hava Mahi Shraddha Matya Dinam Pari Shraddha Masurya Sya Nimruji Shraddhe Shraddha Paye Hanaha Okay, so today before we start the class, I would like to tell you that I was listening to a talk by Carolyn Miss and you may have heard her name. She's a very good speaker and been speaking for a long time. And she was speaking, I think, in a TEDx uh, talk on choices that can change your life. And um, these are the points that she uh, said, and I would like to share with you. Number one, walk the talk. You know what that means, walk the talk. Whatever you speak, act according to it. Very often we are ready to give judgments to others. We are ready to give lectures to others. But when it comes to us, obviously when you're lecturing someone, obviously you believe what you are saying, right? So you believe what you're saying, but you don't follow it yourself. That's the way I understand it. But I'm just sharing the points with you. So walk the talk and speak my truth. You can always say that this is the way I believe. I may be wrong, but it's your truth. It's the way you think. It's the way you believe. And she said, I'm not going to betray myself. I'm not going to compromise. These are the things I repeat, choices that can change your life. Because she was talking basically about healing. She said, how can you heal yourself? If you believe and understand what you truly are, and what you are going through. But as I often say in these uh, talks, I of course give credit to the speaker, but there are also certain points that uh, I may add on my own. Number four, I will not force people to do what I want. I will not force people to do what I want. And then she says, liars don't heal. And these are almost quotes that I have taken from her. Yes, Shalu, say. Yeah, Shalu, unmute yourself. Um, yeah, so uh, don't force on people what I want. I have a, a question. Mm. I'm giving you a very practical example. If uh, on Satnara and I do puja, Mm. And uh, I observe vegetarian. Is it okay mm. if I don't cook now? So I'm forcing it on people who may not want to abide by that rule. But it it hurts me to cook on that day. Then what happens? 
Uh, I, I, they say that uh, I will not force people to do what I, what I want. I want, I, I guess, want. I guess, this is my guess. This is my guess. This is my guess, but I may be wrong. My guess is I will not force people to do what I believe in. See, when we are trying to, this is my, again, my thinking, because I have to be very, uh, I have to be very particular about what I say, if it is being recorded, because I don't want anyone, uh, anyone uh, accusing me of not having understood it the way uh, it has been said. But I would say that, can you force someone to be a Hindu? Can you force that is, some, is that is, Can you that's force That's a different uh, not really a different concept not really even as far as I know as far as I know even Radha Swami as far as I may be wrong but as far as I know even Radha Swami says before you become vegetarian we I don't mind if you cook for your family we I don't mind if you know Yes uh, Didi but that is because also he says you have to have you must have peace in the house. Exactly. You don't exactly. Yeah. So doesn't it come to the same thing? You want to do your Satnaranji Katha. You have you request them. You tell them. But I guess you can't force it. Now your other option is not to have the Satnaranji Katha at home. Can you do that? You can't. Right? So you would definitely, so then consider, I, my mind, I would say you consider that particular corner of yours, which is sacred. And if any girl wants to argue on that, I'm, I'm welcome to discussion and argument. But again, it will be what I believe in. Now, if you truly believe that on that day, you should not cook non-veg, then maybe do a Satnarani Katha in a Pandit's house. What can you do? Because the house belongs to everyone in the house. This is what I think. I Sir, mean, can I say other... something? Yeah, sure, Shashi. I... Yeah. Uh, I know a very, very pious lady. Mm -hmm. Very religious, very pious, very knowledgeable. And uh, one day, uh, you know, we were talking and she said, uh, I said, uh, your husband eats non-veg, so what do you do? She said, I cook for him. She's a yeah. vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I guess this is also similar. I would say it's similar. But it's it's very hard. hard. It's very difficult. Of course it's very it's hard. It's very difficult. It's very hard. Because maybe you could reach a state where they say, I will not cook for you. Either get it from outside or you cook it yourself. But today men have started cooking also. But I think Shalu's question is different. Shalu's question is she's having a prayer in the house. But if, the, if the, somebody in the house says, I don't believe in these rituals, then what can you do? So then, then the choice is up to you. What do you want to do? It's your choice then. I mean, do you want to do it in the house anyway? You want to do it in the room? Or maybe you keep, I'm sure you must be having separate vessels for cooking uh, vegetarian and non-veg. Maybe you do. Do you? Huh. So then keep that. Uh, uh, you... Yes. The, uh, um... Vegetarian, my uh, maid is vegetarian. She's vegetarian. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't know. In my mind, again, this is, as I said, it's up to you. You can, you can, you, you have your, again, choice to accept what Carolyn says or, or to not. Or there are maybe uh, exceptions. You can do it at certain times. You can't do it at certain times. Fine. That is your truth. Again, she's saying live by your truth. You see, she has said that also. So I get, I leave you to make your own decisions and choices again on whatever Carolyn said. And she said, when you deliberately lie to hurt other people, those people, yeah, if you deliberately lie to hurt other people, then you don't heal. If I am lying to hurt other people, I will not heal. You get it? He said, "Those uh, when you deliberately lie to hurt other people, those people don't heal. Those people who have hurt. Your body knows you did that. Your heart and soul knows you did that. So it is not like they don't know. They justify it is another story. 
But in their heart of hearts, their heart and soul does know. This is what she says. Think about it. And this, since I'm recording, you will be receiving it. Think about it. Because I think it's very important that one hears it and one goes over this point and see what suits you. He says, don't blame your childhood for your depression. Because we are always blaming. I am like that because my mother or my father or my family did this to me. She says, don't blame your childhood for your depression. And then she says, another point, I make a decision not to pass my suffering, but my wisdom. Supposing you've had a hard childhood, then you can always transfer what you learned from it rather than your suffering. Everyone says, oh, I went through so much, you don't know. Yet. Okay, so you went through so much, it's over. Now, now, now what did you learn from it? And you went through it, I'm very sorry, but what did you learn from it? Obviously, you must have become wiser because of what you have gone through. So pass the wisdom, not go on and on with what you have suffered. And then she said, if you were to, if I were to ask, why did this if or that happen? Suppose I said, but why did it happen? Why did it happen? Okay, so maybe you will say karma, maybe you will say. Leno, you know, like I always say, Lena, Dena. But the real answer is it happened because it did. It happened because it did. Now what? Okay. And then look at what happened to you and say, this will not defeat me. I have to turn this into my source of wisdom. If you've gone through a difficult period, say, it will not defeat me. I will turn this into a source of wisdom. And then she says, the choice to take risks. Otherwise, you will always live on regrets. See, my way of looking at it, and this is always something that I have said to myself, it's not because I'm being egoistic or anything like that. It's because I truly believe in it. Any door that opened to me, I jumped into it. As I said, I didn't know I could speak. I started speaking. I didn't know I could uh, write. I started writing. I didn't know I could Zoom. I learned and started Zooming. I didn't know I could YouTube. I learned and started YouTubing. I, a door was left ajar and I just jumped into it, not thinking, now, what will the world say? How will it happen? I will not be able to do it. I tried and I did it. So this is what I honestly believe from my experience. The thank God I did what I did. Thank God I did. Otherwise, my life would not have been as rich as it is today. As rich when I mean in, in, in terms of life. This is what I believe. But one can do so many things. No? Don't live on regrets. If you decided to marry A instead of B, well, that's it. That's, that's the truth. Now what? What are you going to learn from it? So don't you know, live on regrets. The other day, Shakun, Ajay? the other day when I was sitting for Vipassana, yeah, it came to my mind that all the pain, all the hatred, and all the anger that comes is uh, is an eraser to erase your, to clean your soul. Okay. So see, we will be yeah to clean your soul. See, we will believe in karma theory because we do, but I mean, from her point of view, she says you become wiser for it. So it happened because it happened. You know, we have various others. So you're right. All this, what did you say was the outcome? Shashi, sorry, come again. What did you say was the outcome? All, all the pain and suffering and hatred yeah. is, is an eraser. This material is an, an eraser. eraser. An eraser of what? Your soul. An eraser to clean your, to clean soul. your soul. Yeah. But that is if you turn it into wisdom. But if you turn it into depression, if you turn it into why me, if you turn it, it shouldn't have happened to me. Then what happens? Then it happens again. Then, it's a then it happens again. Then what? It yes. happens again. Exactly. Uh, that is again what we believe, Hindus believe, that if you don't learn from one lesson, it will be, keep coming in different intensities and in different ways. Even they say that the gurus who can erase somebody and make things happen, 
I've heard this and I've read this in a book that somebody who healed, he, because he kept saying, no, 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 but that child, that disciple kept saying, no, I wanted to be, uh, my mother to be healed. And then when they said, but the other, this, a man standing next to the guru said, if you could do it, why didn't you do it? He said, I didn't want to do it because this is taken over for another janam. I didn't want to do it, but when he insisted, I said, okay, so be it. You'll be okay, but you will still have to go through it when your next janam. So the way I pray, and this is my way of praying, when I want something very badly, I always say, God, if my karma is coming on the in the way, forgive me. I don't know which karma is coming in my way, but even if I think I know, forgive me. But if you That's can't beautiful. forgive me, if you can't forgive me, if you can't because I have to learn this lesson, then let me go through it. What did Jesus say in the, cro in the cross? If you can, I think, take this away from me, but otherwise let thy will be done. Did he say it like that? Something like that. He also said, he also said that forgive them for they know not what so they, they know do. not what they do. But the more importantly, also when he was really suffering, he said, if you can take this away from me, oh father, take it. But then let thy will be done. And the other day I was saying you know, so. Yeah. All suffering comes when there is a physical body. The moment you go into the consciousness, all suffering goes. Exactly. So, because that is that is a Vedanta. Again, here we are talking about Vedanta. You know, but see, very often when people say, I don't believe in God, I, you know, I tell them, Tika, you believe in life? Chalo, let's not talk about uh, 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 these other things. Let's talk about life. How do you want to live your life? Now, you have your life, this life, you have your problems, you have your situations. You know, the other day, I was reading, I don't know how far it's true, but I was reading that, uh, you know, um, somebody asked that why, even though, uh, I, I may be, please, I have any Christian listening to me, but this is what I heard, that some do not believe in reincarnation because they feel that if you believe in reincarnation, you will be lax with your learning. You will say, chalo, you know, and don't we say, I waste janam mein nahi, to dusre janam mein sahi. Don't we say that? They said, no, we don't want to believe in janam because this is the only life that you have and this is the only life that you need to live correctly. Maybe there is a point there. I never had thought of this point because I've always said, how can you not believe in reincarnation? But come to think of it, it could be that if you believe in this, yes, yeah, Anita, I'm just coming to you. If you can believe in this, you can say, okay, this is my reincarnation. This is the only life that I have. Then I would like to live it to its fullest to achieve heaven or to achieve whatever it is. You don't waste it. Imagine if we had only this janam to make it. We would try hard you know, if we really believed. Yeah, Anita, you wanted to say something? You know, I personally, I'm not against reincarnation or next birth, but just to keep all karmas, but just to be in the present moment. Whenever yeah. I think of incarnation or next yeah. life or next yeah. Yeah. column, yeah. I uh, shift from my present moment. Correct. So I want to be in the present and Correct. do my best. Correct. That is why I don't lay a lot of emphasis on karma and have an escapist exactly. attitude. Exactly. Anita is saying exactly what I read. That I have to think of this moment. I want to think what I want to do in this moment. And I think that comes here. Uh, yeah, the choice to take risks, otherwise you will always hit on regress. Don't always take the safe path. Be in the newness. Don't be afraid of it. And then she said, think of the vocabulary you use. Think of the words, you know, because very often we use words like for uh, something is and get rid of those words because that vocabulary is, don't you say words have power maybe, you know? And, uh, and then she says, choose to, she said a few other things, but I will skip those. And says, choose to get up every day and bless your day. Choose to get up every day and bless your day. 
instead of getting up. Oh my God, another day. Bless your day. It's another day, another opportunity. And then she said the last, bless your life, not because of what you have, because of what you are. Nothing in my life will be again the way I see it now. You know, I've been doing a lot of cleanup of cupboards, you know, my, my albums, so many albums I have. So I've been looking at each album, you know, otherwise you just do the Bali Puja, wipe it and put it back again. So this time I have been doing that. And, you know, look at the amount of moments we have lived. So even this moment will not come again. There are so many moments that will not come again. But even this moment you have to bless because even this moment may not come again. This opportunity may not come again. Yeah? So I'm going to stop the recording here.